Welcome to Silver Bar Stacker, folks. I hope everybody has been able to get through the week and is enjoying the start of their Friday. Uh, very excited to start up the weekend. Um, we've got a lot of exciting stuff coming up uh, in addition to these two boxes, which I've been eagerly awaiting. I'm very, very excited to open these up um, and to show you what I've got from one of our uh, suppliers in Florida. Um, We've worked with them very many times and gotten very, very many nice pieces from them. So I'm very excited to show these pieces off and um, also excited to give you some more details about what's coming up this weekend. Uh, of course, every week we've got an SVS drop and so that happens every week sometime before, uh, on or before Sunday. And so you can expect that there's going to be a new SVS drop happening. And in fact, I'm planning on introducing something not today friday but starting next friday we're going to start a consistent thing in addition to our sunday uh or earlier stack pack drops we're also going to be having uh weekly fractional friday drops and so that's our attempt at making fractional and smaller denominational uh silver and who knows sometimes gold a little bit more accessible to the masses right and so that's going to be kind of the uh most affordable uh sps trap that we're going to have it's going to be something that we introduce now so that there's something to cater to those who ha are on a little bit of a tighter budget, right? You know, we all stack at different paces and that's okay. And so we've got um, something for the fractional individuals. We've got something for just the normal vintage, smaller denominational one ounce or so stackers. And then, you know, we'll, we'll kind of uh, have some interesting drops uh, that are product specific here, here and there throughout as well so just keep an eye on the website constantly see what's see what's new see what's fresh see what has recent has new price drops right and just always be an informed buyer whenever you're buying not just on the sps site but wherever you shop for your silvers wherever your um, trusted sources of sourcing silver are always be keeping an eye out for the deals right <clears throat> right for example we're going to be having some specials coming up on specific products and so if you're not the type of stack who's like oh i need to have you know just angle hards right and you might be interested in like a marks or something like that or vice versa right some things are on special at certain times and so if you're not the type of if you're just looking for the uh, if you're just looking to stack like vintage weight or something or even just weight period then that's what you should be looking for and when the deals pop up that's when you should strike right be, be a patient buyer you don't it's good to dollar cost average for sure but it's also there's something to be said about like you know you know wait for a dip or wait wait for a sale and then kind of go a little heavier there and then if you know if you're dollar cost averaging and um you know the pricing may not be as favorable compared to you know the recent past and what you think is going to happen in the, in the future potentially then just be a little bit uh, don't go a little extra heavy on that buy right you can dollar cost average the amount that you normally do but just don't go heavier but then if you see kind of like a favorable dip that you feel like something weird about it like hey it might not last a while go a little bit heavier on that on that dca right and then um just play it by ear right just always be you know responsible informed and patient right that's the main thing you gotta be patient so anyways i always go on rants like that without opening stuff and i'm sure that's probably a big big pet peeve of some individuals but i apologize for that sometimes i get carried away with what i'm talking about and uh i can't help but you know I, I can't help but not multitask that's all i gotta say it's like i'm focusing on what i'm trying to say and so i just want to say it first and then i can continue on with what I was doing. Thanks. No worries, buddy. Thank you. So let's go ahead and see what we got inside. actually a few bars there very nice we can take a look at those let's go ahead and crack open into the rest since I've wasted so much time already okay. package within a package thank you 
Well, thank you. Thank you once again. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at these. These first ones here are immediately recognizable. Oh. Isn't that our favorite, TD Bank? <laughs> Isn't that our favorite bank here at, at SBS? You know, actually, I would say it's probably a tie when it comes to uh, TD Bank and um, Scotiabank. I'm a big fan of Scotiabank products as well. Now, when we look at these, these are actually sequential cereals, believe it or not, and they're in the original packaging. And so, on first glance, when I look at these, I'm very familiar with the three variations of the uh, TD Bank Johnson Matthew Vintage Bars, and so I can definitively say that these are actually the uh, 18,000 minted variety. So there's 18,000 of these bars that exist, and I happen to have two right here in my hand in the original factory seal that are sequential cereals and so these are TD Bank so that's very cool I always like to grab bars that have layers of value as Silver Struck likes to say he as well does at least from time to time like to pick up one available sequential cereals original factory, factory seal um, vintage things like that are important to him um, this I wouldn't say has an extremely low mintage but 18,000 minted is quite low, regardless. Um, a prospect around any year is 75,000 minted, like one of these, for example. <clears throat> this one right here, this is a Eagle Reverse prospect around 1984. There's 75,000 of these that were minted. And uh, there was also 75,000 of the 1984s with the E logo reverse, which is a different reverse. So these bars right here, 18,000 minted, this this round right here, um, 75,000 minted. American Silver Eagle, millions minted. So that's that's kind of the difference. Mintage matters, <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say. So that's pretty cool. We got a nice sequential cereal, TD Bank, Johnson Matthew Vintage. That'll be really nice for TD Tuesday. Hey, maybe we'll do some TD Tuesday drops. If people are interested in grabbing some generic TD Bank bars and rounds, maybe we can do a weekly TD Tuesday drop where we have, and in, in, in an effort to keep it reasonably priced, we can have it so that everybody's guaranteed to get something that's branded with TD Bank. And it's, it'll be mostly generic products, but we might throw like a random vintage Johnson Matthew bar in there for one lucky winner. Something like that. That would be pretty cool. I think we'll do TD Tuesday drops. So here's another Johnson Matthew <clears throat> TD Bank bar. And this is also in the original factory seal, but this is just a single bar here. So that's pretty cool. Now this one over here, this right here is a five ounce Johnson Matthew bar. And this is also TD Bank. So I'm going to have to actually do my research on this because I'm not exactly entirely familiar with the um, mintages on the um, TD Bank 5 ounce bars. So that's something I'm going to have to go on to allinglehard.com and do my research on. So going to um, other refiners, checking out Johnson Matthew and checking out their 5 ounce variety. And then I'm going to go down and check to see where the TD Bank bars are and so I see that there's two different varieties and they're actually quite low mintage once you get into the uh, 5 ounce varieties and there's two different types um, one of them has a smaller um, numbers on the uh, uh, serial number text whereas the other one has bigger so bigger numbers so the one that I have here has bigger numbers um, on the, t on the um, serial numbers the digits are a larger font and so because of that that makes this a 1000 minted bar so there's only 1000 of these that exist however had i had the um, bar that has the smaller serial number text <laughs> that one would be a 500 minted bar and that would be a, that would be classified as a tier one bar 
This just falls outside of tier 1 rarity and would be classified as a tier 2 bar. And so that's still something that's very, very difficult to find. Tier 1 and tier 2 bars are very difficult to find. Uh, this is an 18,000 minted, so I think that would be like a, a tier 3, right? So I think 5,000 and below would be a, considered a tier 2. So this is a tier 2 bar, which is very, very cool. And I always like to get sets, right? So we got the 1 ounce TD Bank Vintage Johnson Matthew bar, and then we've got the 5 ounce Vintage Johnson Matthew TD Bank bar. So that's very, very cool. I'm very, very excited to keep adding to the TD Bank stack. <coughs> Now check these out. What do we have here? Here we've got a couple toners actually. And these are also TD Bank. Interesting. So we're looking at these. And these two are also going to probably be the 18,000 minted variety, I believe, just on first glance. They're not going to do the research because I'm quite sure about that. 18,000 minted on both of these. Now these right here are not sequential cereals, they're just serialized. So this one has a pretty cool U serial number, 013322. Pretty cool, 013322. Would have been cool if it was 012233, but I'm not complaining. Some more Johnson Matthew TD Banks. Now what do you see here? That's a Scotia Bank right there. And what do you see here? This is also a Scotia Bank, but these right here you'll notice on the back, these are Engelhards. You see that Canadian Maple Leaf logo? And so these are Engelhard vintage Scotia Bank bars. And so these right here are 1000 minted bars and they're one ounce bars. So these right here are almost tier one bars, they're tier two bars, but these I've got to say are some of my favorite one ounce bars to collect. And I'm just very, very attached to the Scotia Banks. Um, I really love the design of the Scotiabank logo, for one. But I also have some very, very special Scotiabank pieces, right? Like I just, it's just something that I've been very much into collecting. And so what's extremely special about these and why I'm very, very excited about these. And in fact, we've got um, exactly something like this on the website. Um, right now, if you go on the SPS website, there's a stack pack, a serialized stack pack that contains two sequential serialized Scotia Bank Engelhard vintage bars. And so these are 1000 minted. And so to get sequential cereals on a 1000 minted, see, we, we see sequential cereals here on 18,000 minted. Okay, yeah, that's still very impressive, actually. But, um, to get sequential cereals on a 1000 minted bar, I just didn't even think that I would be able to ever have that opportunity and I was able to do that and you see them listed on the website. Um, the reason I'm selling those is because I, I, you know, I was fortunate enough to have duplicates of that and it's just obscene that I was able to find duplicates of them again. So like now I think I have three sets of uh, sequential cereal Scotia Bank Engelhard bars which are thousand minted so that's six bars that I have that are sequential cereals <laughs> so right see like over here you've got a sequential cereal this is two zero zero two one two one and zero zero two one two zero those are the serial numbers on these so that's super cool now you know so this so that's pretty cool so let's go ahead and um, check this out. So over here, these are also Scotia Bank bars, but um, what's unique about this is that it's three sequential cereals. So we, we I was just talking about how we've got six of them out of circulation, out of the thousand, which happen to be sequential cereals, and now these are three more. <laughs> so it's just like crazy. So this is a Zero zero two one one five zero zero two one one six zero zero two one one seven. There you go. Sequential cereals. So these are all thousand minted sequential cereals. <clears throat> now probably some of my favorite bars that I possess. 
Um, well, it's not in this box. It's a nice box if you want to take a look at the rarer Engelhard bars. So, something else that I wanted to show you here was we've also got these 10 ounce Scotiabank bars here. And so, in these bars right here, um, these are 250 minted. Now, when you get to the 10 ounce variety, these are only 250 minted. So, there's only 250 of these that exist. You see four of them right here. These are actually sequential cereals, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, and then, um, these two are also sequential cereals. So these are 250 minted sequential cereal, sequential cereal. So like this is like 001414, 001414, 001413, 001412. So there's your four sequential right there. And then you got two right here, which are also sequential. 0011490001150. That's that's super cool, I think. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I almost forgot to show off this five gram gold bar by Johnson Matthew that I picked up, which also happens to be TD Bank stamped. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,